World War II fan, it's Jeff. Hey, yeah, whoop. So I'm really excited today because we're doing a different style of video. Um, today we're doing five tips on how to become a better drummer, musician, or an artist in general. Um, so, you know, I've been getting a few questions, you know, and people were asking me a few tips, you know, on how to improve their skills and stuff like that. And, you know, so I wanted to share with you guys, you know, my experiences and, you know, the lessons that I've learned, you know, through my 23 years of drumming. And, yeah, also, you know, I'll be answering, you know, questions, specific questions that you guys can ask me in the comments. I'll either answer straight or, you know, do a video about your question, Q&A stuff. Okay, so let's go. Five tips on how to become a better drummer. Hey, yeah. Whoop. So number one, I think it's intention. So intention is really important, you know. I feel like in your art in general, if you don't have a goal, you know, you're just, yes, you're having fun, but I feel like you don't really have a direction. You don't really know where you're going. So for me, my intention is to be, you know, one of the best Haitian drummers and just being world, world class, you know, in general. So, you know, also my other intention is to, you know, share beautiful, loving, you know, elevating sound, you know, with the sounds with the world. So that's one of my intention too. But, um, so I feel like once I have that, you know, I feel like I have the clarity of where, you know, I want to put my energy, where I want to focus on, what I want to focus on. So it's really important. Um, so yeah, so one, set your intention, see what you want to do, you know, do you just want to be a teacher? That's cool, you know, you, you want to, how do you want to put, what level do you want to be teaching at, you know, so just be clear, do you want to just play for drunk, you know, dance classes, um, do you just want to be a musician, you know, just doing a bunch of beautiful shows and stuff like that. So set your intention, your goals, so you can go towards them. So you just, so you don't, you know, waste time being around, not knowing what you want to accomplish, you know. So that's really important. So number one, you know, intention. Number two, practice. You know, you've heard it all the time. You know, it's really important to practice. And for me personally, I feel like I have different ways, you know, of practicing you know I'm barely practicing on a drum you know so most of my practicing you know it's always tapping you know sometimes you know I'm like clicking my teeth you know I'm drumming so that's like a weird thing that I, that I do you know like drumming you know in my head making the beats you know with my teeth and also I'm always beatboxing sometimes you know I'm singing um, having nice melodies in my head you know but most of my practice like I would say 99% of the time you know it's never on the drum I barely you know drum you know practice on the drum so you know you're gonna have to find a way that works for you you know that that's really fun that you know so you can practice you know going up with your skills you know so you can for your art in another level. It doesn't have to be drumming, you know, if you're a dancer, singer, a lot of theater, comedian, anything, you know, any art form you're doing, find a way to keep practicing, you know, like getting better. And I would say another part of practicing is to find a mentor, you know, something, someone that you really love. And you can have several, I have several mentors, you know, so you, it doesn't have to be one person. So, I would say find someone that you love, you know, you know, someone nice, someone that, you know, you guys have a nice chemistry. If that's what they want to do, if they want to teach you, you know, that's great, you know, so also like see how you can help them. So I, I love what Tom Balio said, so find a mentor, but, you know, tell them what, how you can help them, how you can bring value to what they're doing already. So it's not only taking, you know, it's like, what can you give them in return? Because you don't want to want, who wants to learn, you know, so that's really important to you. Um, also, another way to practice, I feel like I get my inspiration from not only practicing, but, you know, when I'm producing, making beats and stuff like that, um, running the leg when I'm jogging. So any other thing that makes you happy that can you can use it as a practice to you know just I don't know what you like anything that's fun for you I feel like that's really gonna help you 
in your art, you know? I feel like every time you're getting disciplined in one area of your life in general, it improves all other areas of your life. So, so that's really important. So that was number two. And let's go, number three. Number three, I called it variety, you know? So I think one thing that really helped me, you know, finding my sound, is that over the years, you know, I've played with so many people, you know, just going around, all styles of drumming. Oh, it's fun, it's fun, you know, like African drumming, Indian drumming, um, Afro-Cuban, you know, West Africa, you know, all that stuff together, you know, like it really gives you another perception of, you know, drumming music in general, you know, like you seeing how people play with timing, see the way that they think about music, that, I feel like that's really a nice opportunity for you to expand, you know, your way of thinking. So, and then, you know, you can, you know, bring all that into your art form and create your own sound, your own step move, I don't know, like, I feel like the more variety you have, the better, you know, it's gonna help you, the better. So. You know, I've played with a lot of people, as I said, and you know, I feel like that really changed me. I feel like, you know, I'm always doing something new, you know, and it helps your crea creativity a lot. So, really important, so variety. So, number four, keep learning. Hey, yeah. It's really important to, you know, keep learning every day. You know, all my mentors, all of them, they're always repeating the same thing. You have to learn something new every day. Otherwise, you stop growing, you know? So, I feel like, don't be a know-it-all, you know? So, I feel like I see that a lot sometimes with some some drummers. Um, the title master, you know, like once you're a master, oh my God, you know, you know everything. So there is nothing else out there for you to learn. And I feel like that's where you stop, you know, like you know everything, there is nothing for you to learn and you stop, you know, you stop growing. So I feel like I'm, I was really aware of that because I've seen that, you know, I remember being younger, I see people getting amazing and then they get to a point and that said, they don't keep learning, you know, because they really think they know everything. I feel like there is so much stuff to learn from everybody, you know, like, it's, yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's my my way of life, you know, like I have to learn every day, I have to keep growing. So that's a big part of my blueprint and it's really important, you know, for your art. Keep learning, don't be a know-it-all, you know, you're just gonna get stuck. I've seen it a lot, you know, you just see people like bragging about what they've been doing for years and stuff, but what are you doing now, you know? I feel like let's stop going back into the past, you know, and just be here. I mean, I wouldn't say, I just feel like me personally, I don't like no widows, you know, the energy is too much for me. So I just like chilling with people that have a loving energy, you know, sharing the art. You know, one of my favorite drummers, um, Jean-Marie, you know. <laughs> When we're together, we're just joking around, you know, the energy is flowing, no attitude, no ego. We're just having fun, you know, we're just connecting, you know, connecting to the source. You can feel it in the rhythm, you know, it's just flowing. So, you know, um, keep learning. Keep learning with the people who makes you feel, the people who make you feel great, you know, so that's really important. So number four, keep learning. Keep pushing yourself. It really important. Another, I think that's really major for me. Like, you have to keep it creative, fresh. Um, keep pushing yourself, you know. And I feel like don't compare yourself. Like that competition mindset. Mm, I don't know. It doesn't work for me. The only person I'm competing with is myself, you know. And I learned that a lot with my mentors. Again, you know. Um, I just feel like I'm always competing with myself, you know, I'm trying to be better, like the way I was drumming yesterday, I'm not doing the same thing today. Um, so also I'll do other videos teaching, teaching you how to, you know, some exercise you can do, you know, when you're practicing, um, on how to you know, only do new things. Like, don't allow yourself to keep repeating the same patterns that you've been doing. You know, like, if you did it yesterday, like, you're gonna have to be in another mindset. Like, keep bringing new things, you know, keep 
try to impress yourself you know that's something I love doing when I'm doing the solo that, that's one that's part of the reasons why I love doing the solo section the solo videos because I'm trying to see like what's something new I can do like oh I have it I want to impress myself to the point I'm like oh I haven't heard that before that's nice you know I'm keep, I keep going um, you know keep pushing yourself and I, another point of that is that to you can something simple you can do when you're practicing you can you know do a new combination you know like instead of two you know double slaps you can do one bass one clutch you know like making it combining different sounds you know sometimes it sounds cool sometimes it doesn't work but you know it's like you're bringing fresh new combination new ideas so I feel like you're expanding your mind so you don't go to the same routes you know so you're not creating the same path you know every time you're playing you're always sounding the same you're doing the same solos so I feel like I'll do a video specifically you know specific to you you know different modes that you can get into when you when you soloing you know so that's gonna be cool I'm super excited about that another thing that I wanted to say with practicing that I forgot to add earlier is that pra practicing like every time you're playing the drum like let's say you're doing a show anything you're doing that should automatically be a practice you know that should be a practice you know and you know whatever rhythm you're playing I feel like you should always try to do your best in the moment like everything you're doing it's always a practice putting a hundred percent and another key you know to being you know becoming a better drummer I feel like it's really important to work on your different sounds like you know like that's really I mean that stuff like I feel like you can know the pattern but if you're not getting the right sounds it doesn't sound good you, you sound sloppy you know so always practice your different sounds you know if I'm doing a bass you can hear it clearly you know that I'm doing a bass I'm doing a CA it's clear you know a CA is one of the sounds you know that we use in Haitian rhythms and stuff um gloss you know the so all the different sounds because when I'm teaching that's how I you know that's how I start the class you know I tell the students about the different sounds because it's really important you know it has to sound nice you know you keep practicing the more you practice the better it sounds so you know um, it's 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 really important you know at least for me from my experience it's like what all the best drummers that I've seen you know like they never sound sloppy it's like clear sound HD high definition sound high quality you know so you know practice your sounds you know make them I mean you don't have to get it in one day but make it your goal you know to get really you know clear you know clear sounds you know um, yes all right that's it five tips on how to become a better drummer let's go whoop <laughs>